Welcome to our next thrilling installment of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In this episode, we are kicking off our adventure as our heroes arrive at the Kingdom of Tantel, which is Zeke's hometown. This episode puts you through some roller coaster of emotions as Chapter 7 begins, and this chapter is something you don't want to miss. So hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. The adventure continues, so let's dive in and see what lies ahead. Scene, you do see Pyra come out. She's like, I can warm you up. Ah, oh, look at these two. I love these two. Hey, Nia, do you um mind? <laughs> come on, it's not so bad. You're just so warm. I can't help it. It's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. Apparently. I'm not your personal heater, you know? M my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Pyra seems to be in some distress. No way. <laughs> your fur is all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. But, my lady. Draw Mark. <laughs> Drill Mark is like, how about me? Can we get an 07 hey, to Jeff, Drill Mark? Just me, or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things, the glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. Yeah. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other titans. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. Interesting. So it's cold blooded. Cold -blooded. <laughs> <laughs> Call it what you like. It's cold blooded, Chad. So, we're technically on a dying titan. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it sounds like. It sounds like the titan is dying. Um, it sounds like this titan is dying, so... If this titan's dying... Have the people started moving out? I mean, that's that's kind of like what I start thinking about now. More Dane is also a dying. I really titan. enjoyed uh, all of the jokes in Bayonetta. Oh my! This is the very picture of the ancient civilizations I've read about. Ooh. It's a pretty classic look. You know the old land of Torna? They had a proud and noble civilization, rivaled only by Judicium. This looks the like time. the cover of the but game. Whereas the DLC. Judicium were the masters of biological arts. Tornans knew all there was to know about engineering. Interesting. The proud blood of Torna runs in the veins of us, Tantalese. As there are people to pass it on to, civilization will endure. Knowledge is inherited, much like life itself. Nice quote. You should write that down. I mean, not wrong. Thank you. <laughs> it's not that simple, though. Huh? You'll see. Hey, Carlos, welcome in. Thank you so much for the hydrate. Appreciate it. Hmm. Could it be? Are you all right? Yes. Could it what be? Tora? Uh, but why? True, I'll be able to produce own reserves of ether energy, but I'll explain later. For now, just do as I ask. Interesting. All right then, leave it to Tora. Do you? Th mm. Hmm. What do they see? 
Do you think? Do you think? So here's my thing, right? Do you think that this Titan is dying? And the only thing, because think about this. The ether crystals is what give the artificial blade like Poppy the ability to move around and be alive. Do you think they have an artificial blade in this Titan to keep it up since it's dying? Just to like keep face? Because they're engineers, right? And don't answer this. This is me answering, talking out loud. They're engineers. That's what they pass down. So to keep this thing alive, do they have an artificial heart in it? This sounds like, uh... Guards! My lady! Mehmet! Mehmet! What the hell is going on? Shall I? No, no idea! Stop this at once! Damn! What? Rex! Pyra! Let, let it go! Pyra! Pyra! Stop this madness! What's going on? Rex and his lot haven't done anything! We cannot afford to wait until they do, Zeke. The world must not be allowed to burn! The Aegis must be destroyed. What? Oh, no, you don't. Dromak, let's get Rex up to there. Roger. The ether energy. My lady. Please do not resist. My goal is only to destroy the Aegis. I have no wish to take your lives also. King Eulogimenos, I stand before you as a special envoy of Morardane. The Emperor sent me here himself. Do you realize what you are doing? Ooh. I am quite aware. to face the consequences. Prepared. He's prepared to face the consequences, so he knew he was going to do this from the moment that they stepped on here. Why do you have to bump Pyra off? I see you still speak like a commoner. What's that got to do with anything? Don't change the subject. Oof. What if I told you I act for justice? What are you trying to say? What is he talking about? You could say, I'm doing this for all rest. Say what now? Follow me. Zeke and I are on the same page for once. Guru dude, thank you so much for coming in. Appreciate you. <laughs> this what? is... This is the legacy of our royal line. You can't be serious. Why? Father, why? I don't understand. They have a bunch of gold in a in a in a room. It appears the flow of ether energy is being blocked off. Damn it! While we're doing this, Pyra is we have to do something. 
There is no point, Rex. <laughs> You're not wrong, You're dog. just wasting your strength. Both the walls and floor are built to withstand great force. We cannot make a dent in them. Let's calm down a bit, Rex. Mm. If we think calmly, we'll come up with something. <laughs> hey, you lot. Can you try to help us out here? <laughs> Nia's like, I don't endless. have feelings. You need to come over here. The way they built this place, it's essentially one giant stasis web. Stasis web? Like those nets used in Torigoth. To lock drivers up together with their blades, and even leave us our weapons, they must have the utmost confidence. Perhaps we could break through given enough time, but by then it will be too late and the Aegis will be disposed of. Disposed so they're, suck of? they're sucking out the ether. That's all the more reason you should give us a bloody hand. I said it's pointless. We won't get anywhere. With brute force, that is. Huh? What's up, Terence? So Welcome in. We, What's up, Steve? This pisses me right off. Uh, say what? I said I'm pissed off. Doing it for the world. My ass. How self-serving can you get? How do you mean? This country's strangling itself to death with its own web of lies and excuses. Ooh, Zeke is pissed. But just maybe our chum could break it free. Rex could? No faith, eh? Hey, whatever. If you believe in him, my prince, I'm with you all the way. That kid's heart is pure. Too pure for his own good, sometimes. But isn't it our duty as adults to give him a little help with that? Probably. You know, this is what I like about you. <laughs> <laughs> this won't be easy. Hey, what's up, Tyr? Welcome in. It's nice to oh, see you, bud. Quit it with your drama. When is anything ever easy for you? <laughs> Let's go. Huh. Okay, that should do it. Preparations complete. What's going on, Tora? Oh, both drivers and blades. Use ether energy to deploy arts, yes? Yeah. You can skip the lecture, Tora. Everyone knows that. But right now, friends cannot, yes? Yes. yes. There's something about this room. Oh, but Rex Rex and friends forgetting one very important thing. Hurry up, would you? Just spit it out, Furball. Could be friends forgetting... Poppy is artificial blade? Why would we forget that? She's been with us all this time. Wait, I get it. Haritha Furnace. Rex correct. Yes. Thanks to friend Morag, Poppy now able to generate own supply of ether energy. Nothing barrier can do anything about. Tora transfer crystal from Sword of Morag to Biter of Poppy. What? That crystal has enough energy stored for one use of arts. And Biter of Poppy use Earth Element. So, through synergy with Fire Element of Morag, power of arts is amplified. Interesting. If we hit it straight on. I doubt the door can withstand that. So, basically, a Morag's a genius. Energy in that crystal. How is that possible with a barrier? Aha! Lady Morag has not used a single art since we arrived in this place. What? I had my suspicions ever since we entered the palace. Interesting. So Morag, big I brain. I to refrain from using any arts either. I see now. If our enemy's new poppy retains her power inside the barrier, they would keep us on a tighter leash. Yes. Exactly. 
Here goes. Step back. Interesting. What? If you transferred the crystal from the sword, what will you fight with? I can generate a new one from Bridget's core. <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know about that. Uh... Well, seriously, you don't even know how blade weapons work. Give me a break. How would I know something like that? That's what I'm saying, I've Jesus. I've lost or broken my weapon. Then I suppose I cannot blame you. Moving along then. Tora, Poppy, please. With pleasure. Poppy power. Jet fighter. Bro, that is amazing. We did it. We the best. <laughs> He's only been a driver for a couple days. Too. No, he gets no slack, all right? It won't be long before the guards arrive. Good point. Lady Pyro was taken. I All really right, want to we know. Go, We're going down, chat. We gotta hurry up. We gotta get to Pyra. They totally didn't see me walk in, by the way. Where? Strung up in some kind of restraint. Look ahead. Uh. Oh. An ether accelerator. I've seen one like it before in old Torna. It certainly seems like they want us gone for good. So, if we crank up the output and really focused it, we could probably manage one strike. If the people here really are the descendants of the Tornans, then I have a message for them that I must pass on. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Huh. Thank you, Mithra. He's here. I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. Then why are you However, doing this? For the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where you stand. But why? Is that truly your desire, your majesty? I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Is that not why you disappeared from history, along with Adam the hero? <laughs> Begin. Interesting. Uh, Rex. Oh, she looks happy. The ether accelerator. How are they gonna turn that thing off before they shoot? A weapon from long ago, designed to use Genbu's ether energy for destruction. I never dreamed they'd fully restore it. Well, now it's My not dream. Man, he's gonna use it to kill Pyra. No matter how strong she is, there'd be no coming back from that. In that case, we can't let him use it. Uh, yeah, so how are we gonna do that, Rex? And by the way, your sword isn't working. Pyra is too oh, far right. away. Oh, I told Oh my god, how many are there? Jeez. Oh my god! Okay! With the power of the power of the power of the power of the Come on. the power of 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 the Come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on right now. Chaos! Okay, there we go, there we go. We're good, we're good, chat, we're good. Oh my gosh, no. Focus! Mia, stay up! Lay down your arm! Okay. There we go, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go, there we go. She evaded everything. Come on, chat. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go, there we go, Chad. There we go! We can do it! Yes! Ah! Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Let's Let's go! Okay, that was It's fine, these guys are weak. I don't know what we're talking about, Serio. That was that was tough. My I'm sweating. I'm sweating, Serio. I'm sweating. Them. Hurry, or pirates toast! I know that! It's just... Forgive me. Damn it! Hyra! I won't let you! It's not enough! Poppy! Activate QT mode! Lift up from below! Understood! Master I just got it. QT mode. Cutie. Do it, Poppy! Yo! <laughs> Let's go! Poppy saving the day! <laughs> Let's go! Did we kill the Titan? He missed. He did it, Rex. They stopped it. Yeah. Ha! Yo. <laughs> Let's go. Five hundred years. For five hundred years, we Tantalese have concealed the Omega Fetter. Do you know why? Um. Our old homeland, Torna, was destroyed in the Aegis War. Our hero, Adam, also failed to return. You must understand. Old Torna as a country was united around the hero, but our ancestors less so. What are you saying? That we're not Adam's bloodline? Precisely. In Torna, our family were just a cadet branch. We only gained our current position in the confusion of the war's aftermath. But then we're just a bunch of usurpers! They were desperate times. What? We had no choice. The nation must continue at all costs. Even if it meant claiming Adam's name. Wow. With its guiding force this gone, is some game, much blood was Game of Thrones type control. of crap right here. We did what had to be done to reunite it under the new banner of Tanta. Legends of the hero who saved the world are deeply ingrained in people's hearts. And you used them for your own political agenda. Yeah, what an asshole. Even so. All Even so. Like, in the not sure. Saving like. the world from burning once more. Don't you dare try and sugarcoat it. Short story is, they saw an opportunity to gain influence and they took it. Gah! 
That is the way of the world. Mordain could easily take a similar path. Yes. We are in no position to condemn them outright. That's crazy. So did this Adam guy really never return? Indeed. The records indicate he went missing immediately after sealing away the Aegis. It is likely he simply perished during the journey home. He didn't just go missing. What did you say? Aegis? Adam. He had foreseen everything. He knew what would happen to the people after How did the he foresee fell. everything? But he chose not to return. Adam left us of his own will. But why? Oh, because, you know, she had that in her ear the entire time. Hear me, my science. I am Adam Origo. This day I seal the Aegis, away from the world. But this seal is not for eternity. Why does this guy look familiar? In anticipation of the day that humanity becomes worthy of the Aegis's power, I entrust her to posterity. She is our hope. When mankind has matured and learned to live better lives, she will answer your call and return to you. No, this does not Trusting look like Trusting that day will come. I leave my final wish to you. He looks familiar. This guy looks really familiar. Adam foresaw much confusion and hardship in the world ahead. And when I seemed unsure, he told me something. This is a trial. Is me sleeping a part of the trial? That's right. It is a trial for us humans, one we must overcome ourselves. Ooh, I love his voice acting. If we cannot do that, this we don't music. deserve to live alongside you. Live alongside. To be honest, this is I this still is don't Kalar. fully understand what he meant by that. Whether he simply meant the coexistence of humans and blades, or something more. But I think he made a difficult choice. For the sake of everyone's survival. That's what I was asking. Whoa. Did that shot kill the Titan? Your Majesty. What is this? It's Genbu. It's broken free of our control and started to dive into the clouds. What? Are you certain? <laughs> Pandora. Pandora. Oh. Oh, no. What exactly is happening? Could it be that blast? What is he... Tantal keeps Genbu under control using the Omega Feta. But firing the Ether Accelerator, it could have created a counterflow in Genbu's Ether Condiments, causing a critical overload. So Genbu's broken. <laughs> Genbu's broken. Oh no, my words can't reach him anymore. Genbu is just going to dive deeper and deeper. Then... Domo, git! That's what happens when you use antiquated parts. The cloud sea has a similar density to water. As we dive, the pressure will keep building. Ooh. By 500 pets, a human would be crushed completely. Uh-oh. And all that force will weigh down on Genbu? What's our depth now? 
2200 pets sir 2200 pets at the rate of 120 pets per minute Whoa. and get those death limits 25000 give or take that'll give us just over 3 hours dude i love how zeke Ooh, just knows this the <laughs> <Why> me <laughs> the i said the same thing <laughs> this ain't good Hey, Chum, there's a pressure-resistant pod in the palace's southern tower. You guys at least should get in and escape. What about you and everyone else? Don't worry about us. How can I possibly not worry about you? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. Way? Some way to save everyone. Only Pandoria can tell Genbu what to do. If it won't budge for her, it's no use. Yeah, so how Part do we fix that, it? All we can do is try to evacuate as many people as we can. But with just three hours. I think you mentioned before, you control Genbu using the Omega Phone, right? Uh, yeah, but... Where is it? God, this music is so good. Inside Genbu's head. It's straight south from the palace, through Genbu's spinal column. I will go. You Hi. What are you? The Omega Feather is originally Ophion's control core. And Ophion is my artifice. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I might be able to fix it. Interesting. Pyra, Pyra being serious? They tried to kill Pyra one minute ago? That's a totally separate issue. Isn't that what you'd say, Rex? What? I mean, I'm all for entering oh, someone's brain. Yeah. We have brain surgery here all the time, so let's it do it. And that's why. Friend Pyra. Tora, get it. Then Tora and Poppy also lend help. Tora, let's go! Looks like we're in too, Drumac. I would have it no other way. Please give me more Nia. That's it, I then. need more Stay Nia. Away, old man. I Got need it? the Nia. You would all risk your lives for this. You know, the more you talk, the less time for we have. For the sake of Tantal, though we attempted to destroy the Aegis. It's not about Tantal. Then why? You're a king, right? You ought to be able to figure it out. No, we don't. We don't. We don't figure things Rex, out here. You are. Morag? You leave me little choice. <laughs> Morag's just like, eh, I guess so. If not, I'm going to die. How do we get there? I won't just tell you. I'll take you right to it. All right. Zeke's in, chat. Zeke? No, Dad, you don't get to talk Save to me. Save old man. You're going to make a start <laughs> on evacuating the people. <laughs> Though with us on the case, <laughs> your efforts are probably going to be wasted. Yep, that's right, Zeke. You take over, bro. You Understood. take over. Time to no put time on the pants here. Let's go. Yeah. I love Zeke. Man, Zeke just said, bro, shut the hell up. <laughs> he just told his dad, shut the hell up. I got this. Now, the path to the Omega Fetter isn't an easy one. The city Theosaur is positioned a long way above the Jibu Drifts. If you head out of the palace and to the left, you'll see the ruins of the place called Theospiri Temple. Ruins, even though inside the city, yep, there really are ruins too practically rotted away. And when we pass the temple ruins, there's something called the Theosaur Rear Gate. We headed out through there. Then we have to follow the pillars and all the way down. Sounds like a pain in the arse. Yeah, pain in the ass journey, Chad. Who's ready? Who's ready? That's going to conclude our journey through this episode. Please make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment to let us know what you thought of this episode, and please be sure to join us in our next video.